Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Tokyo 42. It's an isometric open world shooter? I'm not entirely sure. It looks stylish, so I'm kind of curious about uh, giving it a go. So let's start a new game. Let's see. You're having a relaxing evening at your apartment in Tokyo. So I am. Let's go. That is a small apartment. Well, that's okay. TV. So when it comes to mechanical reclaiming, there's just one brand worth naming. Toby Beef. Breaking news. Murder in Tokyo. The first murder of 2042 has been confirmed by police. Thanks to the Tokyo Police Department's tireless detective work, the culprit has been identified. In a slight interruption to our schedule, we can now go live to the suspect's apartment, where enforcers are converging as I speak. Wait. Really? See you to crouch. Those tuning in for Toxic Runoff, the show asks, can you outrun your own corrosive effluent? Please be assured. Justice will be swift. Okay. Incoming message. Taiko, you gotta get out of there now. Forget the shower. Meet me outside. I'm on my way. Okay, so I can... I can crouch, I can move. Running. Press left shift to switch between running and walking. And that's a... Uh... Okay. Oh, so they're... They are shooting at me. And I'm dead. Space to respawn. Oh. trick is, I think I'm supposed to have been running this whole time. Of course, I get stuck in there, but that's fine. Okay, space to jump. I... How does that even work? We break a lot of things for that. Okay, and we've escaped into the, uh... Looks like hand vac. Shit, that was close. You okay? Good. You're wanted for murder. Okay, yep. Get it all out now. My fault. Should have slowed down for that. My guess, a Tokyo assassin needed a scapegoat, and that's you, kid. I knew someone, Sasha. She gave me a login for a nearby terminal. Said I should use it if I was in real trouble. I'll take you there, and you can check it out. Alright, so... The vending machine? Spinning your view. Okay, so we can spin our view around a bunch. So we have binoculars, bombs, things. Saving your game. Okay, use coffee machines to save your progress. No, you cannot save if you're being chased. We've already saved there. Looking around. Press right-click to use your binoculars and look around. Press right-click to, uh, this is kind of goofy. Alright, I don't know what's, what this is. F? No. Oh, okay, I can go up and around this way. What is this thing? I have no idea. I I guess we'll look at uh, look at those later. I like the style. It's kind of weird, but it works. Not entirely sure how like moving and shooting is going to be in this game though. Log in. Enter your username and password. Uh, well, I mean, I guess that's secure enough. Notice board. Okay, wire chat. It's an assassin portal. Perfect. This gives us an option that isn't jail. Here's the plan. You become an assassin. I'll be your handler. We'll work our way up the food chain until we find someone who can explain why you're Tokyo's most wanted. Just think about it. Everyone's on nanomeds these days. People don't die anymore. Generally speaking, the guy you're supposed to have killed must have been off his meds. There's plenty of contract work now. Putting a bullet in someone, uh, now that pulling a bullet in someone is less than a, less of a philosophical, a philosophical no-go. So, you ready? I knew you'd be down. This is exciting for me. Uh, you'll be in constant danger. But let's uh, not dwell on that. Well, we'll start with something simple. There's a pistol nearby. Grab it. I, what? <laughs> This is, um, sketchy nonsense. Okay, your target is, uh, Seamus Brown, a mini-golf tycoon. He's knocking 
His orb's about now, all zen-like. You have to get the drop on him. Okay. Why is there just a handgun here? And there's the guy. So we gotta kill uh, Seamus. Assuming it's Seamus. Let's rotate this around a bunch so we know where our target is. Can I do that? Whoa, that's interesting. Tab to select your weapon. Okay. Pistol, and then fire. Okay, and then we're gonna switch back to the binoculars, and we're gonna run. Which looks really goofy. But people freaked out for a moment, and then that's it? I, huh. Okay. Nice. I tell you to cap a golf tycoon and you go and put a hole in one. No? Nothing? Okay. Next hit requires something with range. The merchant on top of Centauri Tenements has a sniper rifle in stock. Treat yourself. Getting up there could be slightly tricky. Can I try the parkour de du jour? Once I've... Once you've bought the sniper rifle, head to the vantage point and show me some sharpshooting. I guess we can jump. Alright. I'm just... I am... This is weird. Okay, spinning the view. Oh, I see. We're supposed to go down first. Okay. Oh. So I can't get up there, so we gotta keep parkouring. Okay. This is a weird game. Oh, I guess I have to manually save the game. I like the visual style. Uh, the the low polyness is really neat. At least on the buildings and the environments. I'm not so keen on the characters, but I think that's just because they look kind of simple. Movement is funky. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, a lot of these, like, weird cars. Ow. Okay. Use that. I guess we're supposed to get over here. I like the fact that they've got a, um, a radial thing to show. Hey, by the way, you can actually land on this. Uh, or, like, this is where you're gonna land. I always hate uh, playing, like, third-person platformers where it's just like, by the way, uh, good luck figuring out exactly where you're, you're landing here. Because it's not going to work great. Another save point? Yeah, we got a ton of them. Okay. So we can get a sniper rifle. And it's that? Oh, I see. Get to a vantage point. Well. We might as well also buy the katana. So we could also get rifle ammo, Femi gun, and a heavy laser. Some of these are kind of expensive. Okay, well, I guess the first order of business... Oh, tip teleport. Press M, use a teleport location. M to teleport around. So these are neat. What are these things? Oh, these are, these are teleport locations. Well, that's convenient and bizarre. I mean, this entire thing is kind of convenient and bizarre. Okay, so yeah, explore the map to use teleporters. Weird. All right, so we have to snipe, eliminate Marta. All right, well, sniper rifle and... wait for him to come back. Assume it's a him. Maybe not. Not so certain. Wait, who's this now? Okay, grenades. Aim your weapon. Well, do I have to select grenade? I guess I don't. Okay. I think I missed that one. Nope. Did not. Killed him. Confusing. Alright. Well, let's switch back to binoculars because. Frickin', I don't know. 
I, I guess I can just be running around uh, assassinating the crap out of people and just no one cares. It's very odd. But, alright? I guess this world's just broken. Fire chat. Pop go the loitering weasels. Congrats. Hey, we're moving up in the world already. A friend tells me they've sent you a gift. Message says you'll find it where you wasted the mini golf guy. The client must appreciate it. Job well done. So we're just some Japanese chick that's on a murder spree now. Goody? Okay, spinning your camera to find a, another view can make fights much easier. Okay, let's respawn. Let's grab some of these things. Looks like we were set up. Oh, they have... They have those. Okay, that's confusing. Don't look at me! I don't know if you slew one mini... I didn't know if you slew one mini golfer, you'd tee them all off. Hello, I've been observing you. Motivated. Equanimous. Yes, you could be something special. Yet you still have so much to prove. If the ripples you're making become waves, I'll be in touch. What? That was Nubaba. Who? If the rumors are true, she is the nexus of information about contract work in Tokyo. What did she say? Okay, we're going to find a way to clear your name. She's our ticket. Pick up a contract at the terminal and earn yourself a reputation. I... This is a very odd game. I'm kind of confused by everything. Is there? Okay, cool. So we have main missions completed, side missions, guard posts, ninja, ronin... Okay. So we've got to... Do don't get spotted, take out... Oh. That's interesting. Collectibles, black, cat black... Coat Deckard, up in black. So we get some customization options. Not much, though. Looks like there's a fair number of weapons that we can pull from, too. I gotta remember to use the um, teleporter more often. Oh, well. Later. Okay, so up and over. Target is a claw machine manufacturer. Our client has decided to make good on our many overt threats against him. The target is in, is in an elevated position. The client is required that we blow him up. Grenades, anyone? Grenade the target, collect your reward, and kite games. Well, I guess let's start with up and over. Okay, so that's the target there. Let's see. Okay, losing a tail. Left control to stay, change your skin randomly. If enemies don't see you, changing skin, see you changing skin, they won't know who you are, and you can escape. Guards will suspect anyone at your last known position. So if you can, can't escape the search circle without them seeing you, your disguise will fail. Use energy pads to top off your juice. So I can just blend in to be whomever I want. That's horrifying. Ish. Oh, I guess I gotta hang out here and actually, like, recharge it. So will they notice me if I'm just walking around? Oh, we've got some collectibles around here. Okay. Can I save? Can I do anything? No. Okay. Uh, I got a katana. And we're dead. Okay, so does that put us back? It does put us back. 
Oh, I see. Somebody that couldn't would spot me would be was right there. Okay, so they're looking for me, but we're already done. All right, mission success. I don't know what RP is. Well, we're over here. Okay, so we've done up and over. Oh, I can redo up and over if I want to. We don't get the RP, but we do get um, more money. I'll consider that. Kite games. Client wants you to stir up some trouble. Go annoy some punks and lead them somewhere. They won't be made welcome. Lead the punks into enemy territory. Collect your reward. Okay, so we gotta go say hi to some punks. Oh, we got some things to take a look at first, though. Aggro. Aggro the punks by trespassing in the area or scaring them with weapons. Oh, I see. We gotta, we gotta go up on top of that building and just float down. Well, that's neat. But yeah, it looks like most of the guys have just totally checked out. Alright, well, that's fine. Press the wrong button. Can I make it? Yeah! Okay, so we get... Oh, 3,000... Just 3,000 yen. Gotcha. We've also got a thing over here that I might as well go grab. Okay. So we got a secret found cat skin. And... Some kind of health pad? I don't know. I don't see anything else particularly amazing down here that I absolutely have to go for. All right, well, let's use the teleporter. Oh, looks like we got a couple of things listed. Well, let's warp to this point. And let's just go piss him off. Oh, are we? Nope, we're still the same person. Was confused by that for a moment. Okay, so we've got... Oh, these are the... That's the nudist garden. Come on, right here. There we go. Oh, that works. Well, we succeeded doesn't look like the rest of the nudist garden is interested in coming after me okay well that works fine this is a weird game that i don't understand there's just like a red noodle man that's just sprinting across the world up there strange is that a per i i don't know well one way or another money for me question mark is very arcadey in an odd way you've earned my attention well you, well done it, it's now time I tested you. A conceited man believes he is safe in his temple, surrounded by henchmen, enveloped by a fort of his own design. Your task is to show him that he is never beyond my reach. You will find a blade at the entrance to the temple. Make him feel it. No other method will satisfy me. Now go. All right. Uh, I guess we gotta go all the way up there. Well, do I have an eye? I do have a teleport point. Okay, choices. You can approach situations in different ways. Sometimes you have to fight. Sometimes you can find a way to sneak around. You can use your sword to kill enemies quietly. Let's take a look at the map. Um... Let's get up here. I, I want to see if the shop has anything new. There's rifle ammo, but I don't think we need to worry about it too much. I'm curious about what the BP is. I'll figure that out for later. Alright, figured let's try... Let's try looking at this situation. So there is some stuff down below, but that might not be that useful. Holy crap! This is neat, actually. The open world element is uh, it's kind of fun. Oh, anyway. Hey, 
they noticed me way too easily. Oh, that's okay. I don't even know if they can find me. Can I warp like this? No, can't warp. If I can just repeatedly warp up here, there's a very real possibility. I gotta get a like silencer for this thing or something. Oh, that's okay. I don't even know if these guys can get to me. Anyway, um. We actually have a person. Ah. Well, that's okay. That gets kind of confusing. But we killed off the uh, sword person. Sword, swords person. We'll probably need to infiltrate a lot harder in the future. Well, let's put our weapon away for a moment. Uh, and switch our skin. Oh, we're out of juice. Oh, that's not really a problem. There we go. Oh, shoot, they can see me. Bye. They're... They have x-ray vision. Surprising. Not really a problem, but still. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that you could, like, line of sight and use and abuse some of these things. Okay, anyway. So we do have choices here. Let's use them. So we're in a restricted area now. Let's just run through quietly. Oh. Death. Okay, we got spotted. Now, does that respawn everybody? It does. Well, that's unfortunate. I was hoping that I could, um... I was hoping I could, like, stab him, but the other person was reacting weird. And then he just, like, blitzed me for no apparent reason. Frustrating, but... I guess understandable. Oh, eh. Let's not fall to our deaths here. Okay, so we want the katana. Okay, so the different characters can and will spot me if I'm not careful. I think we're okay from this angle, though. And we're out of the restricted area, giving us a portal. Cool. Mission the temple. Prove your skill to new Baba by infiltrating the temple and assassinating a target with a sword. He's under heavy guard in a restricted area. Okay, some missions require you to be stealthy and stab the target. Don't get spotted. Press tab, select a melee weapon. Okay, so... Melee one. So we've got the katana. Main deal is we've got to actually be stealthy in an isometric game. Okay, there's one. There's another sniper there. Okay, I'm just going to hang out for a second. Okay, might as well save. I don't think that guy noticed me. Alright. Oh, C to crouch and hide. I forgot about that part. Oh, 
let's see. I forgot that crouching is an option. Well, that'll be helpful. We just got to find our way around. Now the question is, can I also crouch and stab? So I can. Alright, so we get another vending machine. Be nice if you could see, like, sight radiuses or whatever. Unfortunately, such things are not always the easiest. Okay, so we've got another guy on the other side. Looks like no, the bodies last, but nobody nobody spotted any of them, and maybe aren't uh, they don't even get alerted. Hard to say exactly. Well, can I reuse this? No, we've already saved here. See you, bitches. All right, stealth kill. We killed the guy, yeah? Okay. Yeah, collect our reward. All right, we got him. Uh, we didn't we didn't stealth kill him ne well, necessarily. We we alerted him in the last second, but like whatever. It's okay. We can we can uh, run murder, do lots of things. This is a weird game. It's stylish. Um and actually fairly functional. I, I don't know. I, I think I'm actually interested in giving it another go. Anyway. Fine work. That glimmer of promise I saw in you was no hallucination. Quite a relief on at my age. A driver is en route to collect you. All right. So I guess we have to get in the car. Hopefully we get like actual uh, character upgrades or something like that. Instead of just more weapons. I don't mind. Um... I don't mind just getting more weapons, but like, we're getting RP, so there's a very real possibility maybe we can get some like, uh, fancy things here and there. I don't know, I just, I want to be some kind of like crazy cyber assassin, Mark of the Ninja style. I guess Mark of the Ninja wasn't cyber assassin, that was just regular assassin, but that's okay. Speaking of cyber, that's, that's a mech. Ma'am, I would just like to say that, uh, say what an honor. Hush. Fellow assa hello, assassin. I s expect your noisy friend has told you a little what little he knows of me. The truth is, I am a. Uh, the truth is that I am a conduit of information. Nothing escapes my notice. There is a great deal of money to be made in your new career if you have access to the work that pays. I control that access. As your reputation increases, I will be able to provide you with higher tier contracts. The more you work, the more I can do for you. That is all. Allow my chauffeur to return you to the city center. Miss Baba, please, if there's anything you can tell us about the murder, does this one ever stop? <sighs> the man you're looking for is more dangerous than you realize, but I can tell someone will keep uh, I can tell when someone will keep digging. Very well. You have a potential ally on this trail. They have taken a contract connected to their search. Completing their contract will first draw them out, but be warned. They won't appreciate being beaten to the punch. All right. Uh, so we have a, a shop here. Uh, it's it's gun junk man. Item store V1. So we have a pistol. We can get a golf club. We can get a shield. Pea shooter, a uh, shot pistol, a fat shot pistol, AK-47. Can I get a sniper rifle, a silent sniper rifle? I can get a banana, a bunch of bananas, sticky grenades, cluster grenades, hmm. I want something with a silencer on it, but that might actually make the game a little bit uh, too easy. We'll see. All right. Music's like totally dead. Let's check the map. We're in a new area. So, oh, we've got a couple of things we can buy. Enemies, bonus targets, that guy, something over there. And collectibles. Well, I guess let's just keep uh, looking around. Maybe we can find some useful, useful things as we go. Mission, crossfire. 
Crossfire. There's a meeting between two rival gangs happening at the Crossfire Tenements. New Baba wants to make sure they don't give peace a chance. Okay, let's uh let's give a give that a bit of a pass for a moment. Um there's shops around here somewhere. I just got to find them. Okay, so they're they're in kind of the strip down below. Oh, actually, uh while well, we're at it. Oh. Can I even reach that? Let's see if I can uh, reach that. We've got a collectible there. Interesting uh, how many collectibles there are around here. I think I can reach that. Let's well, recharge. I almost kind of wish uh, the recharge would be instant outside of combat. I'll come back later. Maybe we can get an ability. Mainly, I just want to check out these shops before we go. Okay. Hello, weird game. So we can get a uh, skull coat, a uh, scrawn coat, gray text, mode 7, or lab coat. Let's pick up mode 7. Whatever. Uh, and let's switch our coat to be mode 7. I have no idea what our coat is. Is that combat? Is that... I have no idea. Alright, so we can be black cat, white ginger, tabby. I have no idea what any of those things do. And we can have suit, factory goon, mini golfers, commando... Commando? Punk. Let's go with the suit. Oh. Interesting. So there's something about a suit, though I don't really understand why. What what or why or who uh, I don't know. One way or another, this game's this game is neat. Oh, is the suit a disguise? I'm gonna do this again for a second. So if I do this. So while I've got the suit on, we look like um we look like uh, one of the guardsmen. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, so it's a it's an activatable disguise. Well, that makes a lot of sense. I like that. I actually really like this game. It's bizarre, but it's got a lot of like really neat elements that uh, actually make it stand out pretty well. From, I guess, literally anything else. Anyway, I guess we can maybe get up here. Oh, crap! Really? Well. At the very least, what's this? Can I can I go in here? I don't know. There's like an icon or something. Uh, I'll figure out how to get up to that point at a later date. Hopefully, we get some kind of upgrade system. I, I'm really curious about what the uh, M is. Terminal missions or not M? Uh, RP. It's probably just reputation points, but it'd be nice if I could actually like plug it into something. Anyway, we've also got a couple other things that we can do. Ninja. So. Clearance sale, temple, high high stakes, nanomed, meeting Sasha. So these are the uh, these are probably the different missions that we can do, and each one will get us. Uh, each one will get us different perks. So, nanomed, we didn't get spotted, maybe or no 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 no. Nanomed, we have to get spotted, but we have to also kill everybody. Interesting. So these are these are the their bonus objectives that we can get though. I'm not entirely sure what they do, but uh, as an optional objective for every mission, kill everyone without getting spotted. That'll be interesting. For now though, I I like this game. I I think I'm gonna play more just to see more. I don't know. I want to see where it goes. So I guess with this, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more Tokyo 42, hit subscribe because. I'm probably going to shoot for some kind of full series or something. I don't know. I, I just I don't know how to how to react to this game apart from bumbling confusion. And that's kind of OK. Uh, so I guess with that, yeah, see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching.